Hi guys, it's Millie with Millie's Vines. I am here with a video that is very overdue. I had a sunshade that I built probably about a month ago and I've been meaning to share it, but honestly, I've been on some trips and it's just gotten away from me and then now it's September and it's probably a little bit too late to upload this video, but I'm gonna do it anyway because if you want to have a sunshade for next summer, this is a great video for you. Additionally, I do want to share that it is not the cutest, but she is functional. To my defense, I wanted to do like a tan sunshade, but they were out of those. We had to go with black. It was a whole thing. Um, it's not my favorite, but like I said, she's functional. My plants aren't burning, so I can't complain too much. If you're interested, please stay tuned. I'm going to walk you guys through just clips of how we put it together. I'll probably do like a voiceover situation, so I'll do the best that I can to kind of depict how we made it. If you have any questions in the comments, feel free to ask, and then also take some ideas from us, make it your own way. This is kind of just, I don't know, what we went with, so hope you guys enjoy. I know it's not the prettiest again, but yeah, just wanted to share this little DIY, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much. All right, guys, so I'm starting off by showing you the tools that we used. So we did rent a drill from Home Depot, and then we cut our own wood. So honestly, the measurements aren't super detailed. We just kind of winged it. I also got a sun cloth from um, a local plant shop, so you should have some options there. And then here we were trying to measure just to make sure everything was placed in the center. And then again, we ended up winging it. But basically our theory here was we had a base and then the beam that goes up vertically. So we just took L brackets, we secured them in on either side. So we kind of had a upside down T, so it had a nice base. Essentially right here, we're just making the bottom part of the frame. So it was not the easiest process. It was super hot outside when we did it this day, but I think it came together pretty nicely so here again we're just kind of screwing everything in making sure it's nice and stable typically I like to screw one nail in and then not go all the way and I just kind of do each nail one by one and then tighten them all towards the end that's kind of just my strategy there not that I'm like a craftsman or something like that but just a tip these are the two after we finish them this is kind of the height that we have on them as well and then here Basically, we took the sun cloth and the edges on the left and the right, we actually folded over themselves. So we were able to nail it in without the material ripping because that's something I've run into in the past. So again, we folded this over on itself, screwed these nails into the bar. And then here I'm showing you the top of the frame that we built. Initially, we were hoping we wouldn't have to make like a box frame, but we did have to. So we actually have L brackets this part was actually kind of funny, but um, I was laughing because I was failing miserably. But this is the top beam, help for stability, and then we're just securing the shade cloth in with nails again. And yeah, this is the finished product. Not the prettiest, but she's functional and we love her. Thank you guys.